Hello people, how are you? My name's Kev, this is Angling and Anxiety. It's all about the angling. That's about the anxiety. Welcome back, everyone. Time is seven o'clock in the morning. I am down in Portsmouth, and I'm about to go and get some bait. I've come to fish on bait and tackle. Never been here before. Um, they're the only one in the area that's open, and they, they sort of said that they'd open a little bit early for me as well. So that's double handy, so thanks to them. Uh, today the targets are spur dogs, rays, conga, maybe a taupe. But to be honest with you, I'll be happy just to get a bend in a rod. I've had a severe amount of blanks recently. Like I said in my last video, it's that time of year at the minute, it's really hard work. Um, where I'm fishing in a complete new area, where I've got a boat now, I don't know the area. Um, I don't know any marks, so I've had to do a lot of research in avionics and just try and suss it out. Just try and look for areas, look for uh, places that look fishy and just just sort of keep your eyes and ears peeled on social media um but yeah hopefully fingers crossed today brings a fish if it doesn't doesn't but i really do hope it does uh but yeah time will tell won't it at the end of the day so let's see let's go down there go and get my bait and i'll see you in a minute well successful trip 80 quid's worth of bait probably won't use it all today but it can always go back in the freezer i bought myself 10 uh live peeler crab thought it's worth a go um, might attract the hounds. There's a few hounds being caught out there, believe it or not, early hounds. Um, spur dogs are basically a hound, um, so they might have one as well. Uh, but yeah, I've got about, I think I've got about 12 packs of mackerel, some bluey. Well, I'm going out on the beach on Sunday, so I can use a bluey there as well. Got some squid and bluey wraps that were already made up, which is handy. Because when you're bouncing about on the boat, sometimes it can be a bit of a pain in the bum. But let's get ourselves down. Got to go and get some fuel. Got the fuel tanks in the back. Um, let's go. Feeling positive today. I'm feeling positive. I didn't sleep on my boat, which is always good because it just kills me, man. That is the absolute life out of me. But yeah, I'm feeling a lot more positive, a lot more switched on. Um, let's go and try and catch some fish, though. Well, the boat has started, people. The sun is shining. Boat did take a little bit of starting to be on with you, to be honest with you. Lucky I bought a spare battery. Um, but yeah, happy days. Let's get out of the water, man. Right, we're on the mark. We're in the deep water. We're in about 42 metres of water. So we've got a lot of water underneath us. Nice and deep water. We're going to get the fish feeding by keep pump, constantly pumping baits down there. Every 15 minutes, have a change up. Um, and hopefully it brings a fish. No guarantee, but it was spot on. So fingers crossed, let's get the rods out. Well, the rods are out, people. All got big mackerel boats on. Eating an open, mate. If we give it a couple of hours in each spot, we don't have nothing. There's fish out on the finder. Um, so, just a matter of trying to bring them down onto the smelly boats. We'll see how we get on. Well, quiet on the fish front so far, but that sun is glorious. We've been out about an hour, hour and a half. Um, there's another boat just over there, which is usually a sign that you're not, you're not too, going too far wrong. Um, yeah, very quiet. I've had a couple of baits nicked, but no, no, uh, no bites, no fish as of yet. So, still waiting, still on the blanket spur at the minute. Determined we're going to beat it though, even if you have to stay out for seven days on end and quit our jobs and become hillbillies of the sea, one way or another, if we're catching some fish, it's just got to happen. My 80 pounds worth of mackerel will slowly deteriorate into nothing, but I'm just going to uh, keep our fingers crossed really and hope for the best, that's all we can do. It is probably a strap, it's, it's kicking. Right here, I don't know, it could even be a spur. It could, I don't know what a spur feels like, I've never caught one, but it's got head movement, but it's more than likely conga, I'm thinking. But it's slack water, so it's unusual to 
get the bite from on slack water, but it is indeed a fish. <laughs> you know when you just almost feel like giving up? It's got to be a fish. If it comes up and it's not a fish, I'm going to pack up and go home and give up fishing completely. It's a nice conga. There you go. It's not massive, but it's a fish. Doing the death roll. Happy days. Go. Off he goes. <laughs> he took the hook. Sad for the poor Congo, but it is what it is. Happy days, let's get another one. Well, to some, it might only be a strap Congo. To me, it is a plank feet and oh, happy days, man. I'm happy now, do you know what I mean? Hopefully, some more come. Um, obviously, it'd be a bit disappointing if it's the only fish of the day, but. At least I haven't blanked. Now we've got to get red man on. And uh yeah, it's time to flip it come, do you know what I mean? One slack water says so quite unusual to have a bite on slack water. I usually find anyway. Um but we're gonna keep pushing on, keep pushing, keep the baits going out there, and hopefully a nice pack of uh spur dogs will come through. But if I don't they don't at the end of the day. But we'll see what happens and uh keep these fingers crossed. Yeah, but what a glorious day man. Get much better than that, does it really? Feet up, slippers on, living a dream. Now, here we have two pans. This is an old myth, an old legend that I was told once and I've done it and it worked. You've got to pay your dues to the sea. Hopefully, the next fish will be a whopper on Red's rod and the two pound ain't just gone to waste. <laughs> right, just had a, what looked like bites on one rod and then bites on the other rod, so just keeping an eye on it now. Could well be a race out on top of it. Could be the Congos has got hold of it. Go on, hit that. Reel down into it. Reel down. Keep reeling. Keep really. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> it's life, bro. It happens. The other one's on one of those as well. Right, bring it back. Right, I managed to get one on the other rod. Bend into it a bit, feel it a bit, going you know, up and down. Is it still nodding? Up. I hope it's uh, still there still. A little strap. That's the fish. That's two bites straight one after the other, so happy days. Let's get it on up, get it back in. Well, it seems like we are getting quite consistent bites now. It seems like either the smell trail's gone or the tide's picked up a little bit in there coming on the feed. Don't know, whatever it is, I'm not fussed because it's whatever we're doing is working now, so happy days. Hopefully some bigger stamp of fish come, hopefully a lot of fish come. Uh, just wait and go now. The tide is picking up, as you can see by the behind the boat. It was a good way of telling the swells. Um, absolutely flat calm out here. It is meant to pick up uh, on a southerly wind, which means it's coming from that way. A gorgeous day. He knows it's a gorgeous day as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, southerly wind's meant to be picking up. Which means it's coming all the way from there without anything stopping it. It's only up to like six, seven mile an hour, so it's nothing major, but at a minute it is a gorgeous day, as channel number 10 says. Is that him over there? I don't know, it might well be. Ten's, te what 10 is, is everyone around this area seems to put it on channel 10. I got told that the other day, so. Yeah, I'll let you get one, crack one, people, and uh, I'm gonna keep fishing. Well, we just had a doggy. Um, another doggy. 
good old doggies. Unfortunately, they've not been up beating the blank today, so they can stay in the water as far as I'm concerned. I've actually took one of them home because um, I'm going on a skate trip in about three weeks. So I'm going to be using dogfish as a bait. They're meant to let off a lot of ammonia, apparently. One amino acid, something like that. There you go, fish on. Fish on here. Good fish. Fish on. Get hold of it. There you go, good fish. This is going to be a spur dog, I feel. Yes, Red. This is what we're here for, brother. Keep it up just in case there's a conger and it wants to dive into the rough ground. That was a, that was a good run, wasn't it? Do you know what I mean? That was a. Can you feel its head nod nodding? Mate, I just felt it went down, stayed there, wouldn't give me name, and then yeah. let itself go. Could be a good conga, or it's a spur. That was a peeler and all, wasn't it? That's good, that's a good run. That's exactly what we're here for. Just taking you under the boat. Yeah, it's not getting down, huh? Yeah, look. Yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah brother. <laughs> this is what we're here for. <sighs> Get hold of that and don't let that take any line. Trying to take the mate off, mate. Look at that. It's a 30 pound class and all that rod, isn't it? Yeah. Could well be a good tope, you know. The possibilities are endless. Come on, leader. No, take, take it easy now. Just giving me some. Here we go, what we got? Big, Big conga. Big juicy conga. Here we go, let's get him up. Big girl. They fight so hard there on congas, mate. That's a lovely sized conga that is, mate. Monster. Let's get him up. This thing big with a creek jump. There we go. Oh, he's so strong. So, so, so strong. Grab his towel in, man. Barking, mate. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get a few photos of red. I'm gonna get released. Absolute creature. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> right, hang on. Right, get out for the release. Oh. oh, what a monster. Oh, girl. There she goes. Straight down into the depths. Creature. Oh. Wow! That. <laughs> happy, mate. Happy yeah, man. Happy days. Now yeah, now we've got to have a clean up, people. So, uh... <laughs> sweet. Some people don't like hills, but when I fight that hard and they're that size, I'm happy. Yeah. Rolling. Fish on, people. Just nearly lost the rod. I see it nibbling above me. It was above my head. I see it nibbling, and I was setting up there a rod. So I thought I'd leave it. Next thing you know, my rods need to come out of this holder. Definitely another big conga. At least a fair sized conga. Yeah, boy. What was it on? Whole mackerel. You can see that southerly wind start to pick up a little bit now. Sort of giving up a little bit now. Still a nice size. Oh, it's a good ray, it's a ray. Alright, we days, I've got a ray hooked in the bum, so. <laughs> Sweet as a nut, man. Can we stop it? Happy days. Yeah, I'll uh, bring back a sec. I'll spawn back. 
happy days. Beautiful against that sun. Probably around six or seven pound, maybe eight. Happy days, man. Let's get returned. It's going off now, people. Off he goes, elegantly into the deep water. Now a fish on people, nearly lost the rod again. Not too sure what it is to be honest with you, that could be a ray. Not too sure, could well be another conga. We swung right round on the anchor now, so we're not in the same spot. Well, we've got fish fighting against the tide, you never know. It's nothing massive, I know that much. Having a little go, but we've got another ray. Nice size form back that one. It's got to be a double. They're loving that bluey squid, loving it. I'm actually fishing a wire trace with this. But yeah, I'll uh, get my hooked and then bring it back. Alright, so we're just pulling the anchor. Um, everything had turned, so now we're not sitting on the spot where we was fishing, do you know what I mean? Where all the scent trail is. So what I'm doing is I'm spinning this round anchor so we pull back this way. The jobs are good. And Pete's just getting the uh, anchor up. We have to reset it, trip it. That sublease come in, but nothing to worry about. Just a tiny little bit of swell. But yeah, hopefully we can get straight back on the fish and uh, not have to wait too long. See what happens. Getting a few little knocks on this rod here, guys. Pete's gonna check it for me quick. It's real down and stronger. Keep reading down, keep pressure on it just in case it is there. Yeah, it's pretty shiny, isn't it? Tighten that clutch up. It's going to be a little strap in it, I think. Is that a dog? Central down again. Is it still there as it come off. Yeah, this is gonna. No conga left them now. Well, the rods have been out for about half an hour now in a different position. I'm sitting right on top of a sandbank in the deeper water. Had a few knocks. Fish rod seems to keep having a little knock here and everywhere, but um, quite quiet. Gonna give it another hour. We're gonna stop on the way through uh, a little mark I know for some bass, see if we can take a few bass on some lures. But yeah, it's been a good day. Um, still got an hour left, so something might turn up. No spurs, but can't win it all. Just gonna keep battling on and uh, see what it comes of it, man. But yeah, good day so far. Right, we've given another half hour, people, and there's not much going on. Uh, so it is about quarter past three. So gonna get, get get back, go and have a look at the bass mark, see if we can nick a few bass. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. It's always worth a go. It's on the way back anyway. So, uh, but yeah, call it a day. Get ourselves over there. I'll bring you back in a minute when I'm chopping a lure about whether I have a fish or not. Who knows? I'll see in a sec. All right, so as you can see, people. I've come round. This was my original drift line. So now I know that the line is going that way, the drift is going that way. So what I've done is I've circled, I've not gone over the top of it, I've circled it. 
come around here and this is now going to drift over the top of the bank and what happens is the bass sit the other side of this um, it's no secret it's just outside of gospel I'm not a secret spot kind of man um, well this is where we have had a lot of bass on lures um, usually the birds are working but if the birds are only working if they're bringing the fish up to the top if they're not then what they'll be doing is they'll be down the bottom and we've already seen on the fish finder that there was a lot of fish so hopefully as it comes over this bank in a minute they should start picking up a few fish hopefully we was down here a minute ago and there's a lot of fish there and big balls of them so um it's either bait fish or it's bass one or the other but time will tell Last time we were smashing them, two at a time. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, that's a, that's a that's a creature of a boat, that thing. Where are we? We over it yet? Yeah. No, nah, nearly. Just coming over the top of it. See, now it's starting to raise up. There's no fish showing as of yet though, so... Just got to keep waiting. There's no fish, there's no point chucking the lures out, so we'll just drift over it and see what comes of it. If we don't get nothing in this drift, what we'll do is we'll circle again, come around it, and start a drift about here, so we'll drift over this bit of it. Just keep going and going and going. Just the last chance to do. We've got one, one point two knots of drift, so it's just a little, little treat in the way out. See if we can get rid of nice bass and the But paying the juice to the sea paid off earlier, didn't it? See, next time you're out, chuck a pound in the sea, pay your juice. It doesn't look like there's anything from that drift, but I'm going to wait just in case. As you can see, if this one's completely blank, I'll wait just until it gets over the brow. So, what I'll do is I'll reposition and I'll bring you back in a second and I'll show you what the crack is. So, I've just done a lap around here, then where this is going to settle, hopefully, somewhere around this region. Should drift over that brow there. I might switch the engine off just. It's a bit more stealthy. But yeah, that's rolling out lovely. And then this should come along here and over this brow here. The fish we've just seen were around here, like I just said, but. We have had them here, so just like to cover all the angles. Nothing shown yet. I'll let this do its drift and then I'll pick it back in a sec so it doesn't bother granny at you. Well, there's no bass, at least we haven't caught any. I'm gonna call it a day. Not through lack of trying, people. We didn't get the bass, but it ain't the end of the day, ain't the end of the world. As you can see, the background, the sun's settling down, lovely. Um, time is about half three, so um, we had a little go of the bass. Was never really planning on going mad for it, but yeah. Um, gonna get ourselves back in there. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, been a good day's fishing. Just beat the blank for a little while. I'm back out on the beach on Sunday, um, having another go for another ray. Let's see if I can get another ray. Uh, but yeah, happy days, thanks for watching, don't forget to click the subscribe button, and it is nearly shark season, so keep watching. Thanks very much, take care everyone.